Need help processing a customer refund? If the customer has already paid the invoice in full, you will need to enter a credit memo, enter a refund check, and then apply the credit memo to the refund check. Let's walk through each step. Select Credits and Returns, then New Credit Memo. Then select the customer. Since the invoice is paid in full, use the Apply to Sales tab to enter the credit. If you're refunding items, enter the quantities and inventory items. If not, then just enter the refund amount. Here's a tip. If you ever need to credit an unpaid or partially paid invoice, use the Apply to Invoice tab. Enter a credit number and click Save. Next, we'll enter the refund check by going to Credits and Returns, Make Payment to Customer. Change Vendor ID to Customer ID, then select the customer. Enter the amount to be refunded in the Amount field and print the check. Now, you must go to the Receipts window to balance the customer's account. Just check Pay for the credit memo and refund check. Since you're not receiving money from the customer, make sure the receipt amount is zero. Enter a reference number and click Save. You're done! That's all it takes to process a customer refund in Sage 50.